Hey guys, it's Wolfie. And I'm the dude. And today we're looking at a finished batch of leopard skin jasper and just a little bit of opalized wood in it. Um, let's see, the opalized wood I got at a swap meet at the Lapidary Society about a year ago, I suppose. Was it a big chunk or was it all these tiny pieces? It, it was a solid chunk that That's we awesome. ended up cutting up. And it splintered a little, so I don't know if I got the well, the best pieces out of it. I don't know. I like them. Yeah, they tended to splinter. I got a couple little pieces. Okay. Um, the leopard skin jasper, which was labeled as leopard rhyolite, I got at the lapidary, um, well, the rock show in Des Moines in October. And it was already in small pieces, so I got to pick through the variety of pieces and pick ones that I liked. Did you buy them all or pick them through? Well, I picked through a bin. Oh, a bin. Okay, I understand now. I wasn't sure if you bought a bag. And, okay. and bought them by the pound. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Yeah. They remind me of toad skin. <laughs> all the little warts. Also, there's like a leopard lizard. Uh, I don't remember exactly what it's called. But it looks like that. It's the same colors and also little spots. It's an interesting rock. I'm not actually sure where it's from. I, it, it's called leopard skin jasper, but I don't think it's a true jasper. I mean, it's a bunch of other stuff put together, I would think. I like this one. So they shaped up very quickly. These rounded off very, very quickly. We ran them in our three-pound barrels and uh, probably only about two to three weeks for most of the pieces. And we ran them uh, with other things, some that with the opalized wood. The opalized wood also ran with some obsidian. Um, we did the pre-polish in a bigger barrel. We did obsidian, opalized wood, and leopard skin jasper all together in a 15 pound barrel. And then we ended up polished them in our new Lotto Tumbler. This is the first batch through the Lotto Tumbler. We'll show you the obsidian that we got through a little later on. We're still running obsidian. Yep. So leopard skin jasper, um, it's a jasper, so any medical physical properties that work with jaspers will work with these. But other things that it more enhances is honesty, courage, especially in like verbal communication, the courage to say things, ambition, and your physical strength. All good stuff, all stuff I need. Yeah. When we talk about opalized wood, it's not the iridescent opal that you a lot of times see in jewelry. It's a common opal that often appears in the western U.S. We don't have any of it here in Iowa. So let's look at some of our favorite pieces. Okay. I'm doing this one. He's a half and half. Like literally with a little line. I really like the yin yang of that piece. Yeah. One of the reasons I picked it out of the bin. It's very interesting. So it's called leopard skin jasper. This piece right here looks like tiger skin jasper. It has stripes. Is that actually the thing? Oh, I don't know. I'm making it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, this is the two that really look like, not with that part, I guess that one has a big eye on the side, but these are the two that really look like um, that lizard that I was talking about that I really don't remember the name of. I'm sure it's leopard something. Yeah, you can see the eyes on that piece and that, that piece. this piece here. It's got some cool little eyes. There's a lot of variety in the color in these also. This one looks like a toad. It looks like a little toad in my hand. Yeah, well, that one's a little more green. Some of them are a little more red. This one here reminds me of um, a camouflage oh, pattern. Because yeah. the long... Maybe not so much over there, but right there, camouflage. The long stripey bits. Some of them are more red or pink or salmon. I 
I really like the variety of these stones. And of course, um, some of the material softer. You'll see that in some of the lower places, it doesn't shine up as well. But they have a very nice, interesting finish. I think the Lotto Tumbler, the new Lotto Tumbler, did a great job of shining these. I think it did too, considering they're all made up of different stuff. This one looks like he hit somebody with it. It's got blood splatter. <laughs> Did you show this one? I don't think so. That one's nice. Nice stripes. Yeah, nice pink colored stripes. Maybe salmon colored. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with the opalized. I really like this opalized wood. I like how soft the colors are. Yeah, I like the wood grain swirls that are in that piece. Mm -hmm. And we don't have a whole lot of this opalized wood. But what we do have, I like. It's got just a soft um, tan color that's slightly reddish, so it almost looks lavender to me in person. Do you get that out of it? <clears throat> Um, a little, maybe, in a way. Pinky, lavendery, in the lighter parts, definitely. I liked how this one, you could see the rings, and they go over to the other side, also. So. This is our other large piece. Look at the shine on that. Yeah, Beautiful that's, shine. It's pretty. I think I showed this one on my um, on my setup video for the new tumbler. Mm -hmm. Which, if you want to watch that, that should be published soon, or already published. Yeah, and in that video, I'll put a link to this video, so you can look at the individual rocks. So these are an interesting rock to polish. They may not be the most perfect rock. If you're looking for a perfect rock, you're probably not going to like these. If you like variety of color and interesting designs, these are wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. The only reason they don't polish the best, or like perfectly, the only reason they don't polish perfectly is because of the undercutting, really. Yeah. Different hardnesses in the material cause that. Yeah. Well, with our new tumbler up and running, we're going to bring you a lot more finished videos. We've got the obsidian coming through. Um, I'm going to do some repolish on some tiger's eye. Uh, I've got some Brazilian agates that we're uh, going to do soon. There's always Brazilian agates. <laughs> there seems to always be Brazilian agates. You know, for a while it was like sodalite was everywhere. It's still Brazilian. Spots <laughs> Brazilian up. agates have been running for over a year. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> so we do have a new batch of Bahia agates and some fancy jasper yeah. that will be maybe another month or two but we'll be bringing you those sometime so until next time be happy be kind and make your home a safe place bye, bye.